Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, our today's lesson is about the anatomy of human brain. So what is brain? Brain is the organ of soft nervous tissues contained in the skull of the vertebrates functioning as a coordinating center of the body. So human brain is acting as a coordinating center for the whole body. Now we will discuss that what are the main parts of the brain. Human brain is divided into three main parts on the basis of their function and placement. The three main parts of human brain are forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. You can watch these three parts in the figure clearly that the forebrain is represented by the yellow color. Midbrain is represented by the green color and hindbrain is represented by the pink color. First of all we will discuss forebrain. It is its position. It is anterior part of the brain. It has three parts: cerebrum, thalamus, and the limbic system. What is thalamus? It's this is located above the brain stem and between the cerebral cortex and the midbrain. Here you're watching this encircled in red color line this is the thalamus its function it carries sensory information from the body to the cerebrum and the limbic system next we will discuss what are the hypothalamus its position lies under the thalamus its function that it connects the nervous system with the endocrine system via the pituitary gland and what is the pituitary gland it's a p-shaped structure it is very important in growth and reproduction this gland is the part of the hypothalamus now what is the limbic system here you're watching the portion in red color it is representing the limbic system it is the arc shaped structure between the thalamus and the cerebrum it controls responses like hunger fear thirst anger and the sexual responses etc now we will talk about the cerebrum it is divided into two halves called the cerebral hemisphere they communicate via corpus callosum here you're watching in the figure the most largest part of the brain is the cerebrum cerebral cortex is the outer region of the cerebrum it helps in the movement it controls the speech it is responsible the, for the sensory processing it determines the intelligence of the being now we will talk about the midbrain here you are watching the midbrain in the figure it is located below the cerebral cortex and above the hindbrain it controls reflex movement of the body and the hearing reflexes now we will talk about the hindbrain it is present at the back side of the brain it consists of cerebellum pons and medulloblongata these are the three divisions of the hindbrain first of all this is the cerebellum it is the latin for the little brain which means the little brain and it is located at the back side of the head it controls the balance of the body and coordinates the voluntary movements of the body now we will see that what is pons pons means bridge so it is located above the medulla it controls the sleep as well as the rate and the pattern of the breathing now the third part of the hindbrain is the medulla oblongata it is the posterior part of the brain it controls the automatic actions for example breathing heart rate swallowing and the blood circulation so students this is all about the parts of the brain thank you and allah hafiz